Yo, it's your boy Matt Doe, and today I want to talk about one thing, one skill that's usually taken for granted but will essentially set you apart from the competition, achieve long-lasting relationships, and grow your network, which ultimately grows your net worth, and that is customer experience. Hello everyone, my name is Matt Doe. For those of you who are already subscribed, welcome back. And if you're new to this channel, welcome aboard. Here I talk about all things recruiting, lifestyle, and personal slash professional self-development. Now, I was initially going to talk about the skill of customer service and how important it is to your business and all that. But you know, the more I thought about it, the more I realized that it's more than just service that makes excellent customer service, if you catch my drift. All right, so first, Let's break down what customer service even is. According to Lexico, which is basically dictionary.com collaborating with Oxford Dictionary, customer service is the assistance and advice provided by a company to those people who buy or use its products or services. So let's say I sell something to you, you buy it from me, then you ask me a question about it and I answer it for you or give you some tips on how to best use it. Pretty straightforward, right? Well, yes, that is standard customer service, but is that really excellent customer service though? Are you going to remember that one moment of service and love it enough to tell all your friends and family about it if they ask about it or even write a glowing review? Probably not. Ultimately, it's the human elements of customer service that define really, really good customer service. We've all encountered an automated message that tells us to press a certain number and it'll route us to the appropriate department, right? That's basically customer service right there, but it doesn't really invoke emotion. Excellent customer service is when you invoke emotion out of the customer and when a business just exceeds a customer's expectations. This could mean being proactive versus reactive when it comes to customers' needs or getting ahead of a problem before it even happens, or it can be going the extra mile in your service to build a deeper connection with them. When the customer feels heard or that their time was respected, that right there is excellent customer service, which I personally like to call customer experience because that's what it should be, a great experience. Let me tell you about an amazing experience that I had personally as a customer with a particular men's shoe brand called Taft. So I'm not really a sneakerhead type of guy, but I'm more into dapper men's shoes, like dress shoes and boots. Taft, in my opinion, is one of the main brands in this industry for a number of reasons, but the number one reason that I put them up there and that I'm gonna to give to them is their amazing, excellent customer experience skills. Taft has always been one of the most responsive brands on social media and email. Whether it's a question, comment, or even just tagging them on an IG story or a post, they respond pretty quickly in a way that just makes you feel heard. That in itself is already pretty satisfactory, but they don't stop there. A few years ago, back in 2017, when I made my first Taft purchase and flexed it on Instagram, their CEO and founder, Corey Stevens, not only took the time to thank me, but started talking to me just to get to know me. I couldn't believe it. An actual conversation with one of my already favorite brands beyond liking a message with a heart or a thank you. Now, fast forward a year later in 2018 and Taft hosts a warehouse sale in San Francisco to clear out some old inventory. Everything is 50% off, no additional tax. So of course I make my way over there and get in the long ass line that stretches, stretches around the corner, by the way. First thing I see is Corey talking to some customers in line, already exemplifying that amazing customer experience that is Taft. When he comes to me, I bring up our conversation and he instantly remembers. We have a great conversation for a bit before he has to take off to organize help and help out with the event. I go in and buy a pair of Chelsea boots that kind of catch my eye, then try to see if he's around to say bye. Now, what happens next, I will never forget. I get a text on my phone from Corey asking if I left yet. I have no idea how he got my number, but I figure it'd be faster if I just give him a ring to tell him I'm still there. When we meet up, he told me he found my number from my last purchase I made the year before and apologized for doing so if he was stepping over any boundaries. But he just wanted to catch me personally before I left as well. And I couldn't believe it. Again, we have one last talk. And from that day forward, I was a lifelong customer and I consider Corey to be not just a CEO, but a very good friend. 
All right, sorry if that was a lot to digest, but I hope you got some key takeaways from all that. Basically, excellent customer service is all about making the customer feel heard and a going the extra mile moment, like what Corey did. Some brands that I can think of off the top of my head that have amazing customer service for going the extra mile are uh, Apple, Amazon, Nordstrom, Away, and even Costco. They all have a ton of stories and testimonials from customers that have experienced moments where the team has gone above and beyond for them. The customers love them and that's why they're doing so well. Now I'd like to end it here with a famous quote from American poet, memoirist, and civil rights movement Maya Angelou. The quote is, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And I think that's a really perfect example of customer experience. Thanks for watching everyone. Until next time, peace. That's so nice. Just ask me what you'd like me to do, and I'll